Hey, I'm Sean Smith with the Marine Industry Association of South Florida, and this is Salty Jobs. Today we're going to be visiting one of our marine industry companies, so uh, follow me. Hey guys, I'm here today with High Seas Yacht Service. As you can tell by the sign here behind me, they specialize in a wide variety of skills, focusing on shafts, props, engine mounts, rudder systems, optical and laser alignments, vibration analysis, and so much more. So here, precision really matters, guys, because the tiniest bend in your shaft can cause vibrations and really mess up your whole propulsion system. So these guys are gonna show me around the yard, get me here in the shop, and I'm excited to get to work. We started right away removing the damaged shaft from the boat. The removal process took about 15 minutes. From there we carted the shaft back to the shop for repairs. So I'm here with Zach, who is manager of the running gear division at High Seas Yacht Service. Zach, why do we pull the shaft out of the boat here today? Well, we diagnosed the shaft as it laid in the vessel. It's bent approximately 11 thousandths on the propeller taper. Just for comparison, your standard business card is about 14 thousandths of an inch. This amount of bend will cause a vibration as the propeller moves around 11 thousandths of an inch every revolution, it can vibrate the entire vessel. So once you have it out like this, what's the next step? You're gonna take it into the shop? Now that we have the shaft here at Straight Line Marine, we'll clean the shaft and dial it from end to end. We can then straighten the shaft to within two thousandths of an inch from one end to another. Furthermore, we can fit both the prop and the coupling with lapping compound to make sure we have a good fit on the taper. Fantastic, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting in the shop and seeing some of this. We'll start setting that up now. After repairing the shaft, it was back out to the yard to remove a damaged prop. The loud bang you hear is the prop mechanically releasing from the shaft. So I'm here with Julian, who is a running gear mechanic at High Seas Yacht Service. And every episode we have the pop-ups about local schools being able to provide the career path necessary to work in the marine industry. Julian here is living proof of that. Julian, I understand you went to Broward College. Tell me a little bit about that. I heard about um, Broward College Marine Program, decided to join that. Definitely a good decision. After I completed the program, I got a job right away. I did a little electrical, did a little bit of other things, and then I got a job at High Seas Yacht Service as a running gear mechanic. You were a parts runner first, is that right? Yeah, I was doing parts running. It uh, allowed me to see the industry as a whole, know where everything is, know where I can get parts from. Uh, about three months later, I got promoted to a mechanic, and uh, yeah. That's fantastic. So tell me a little bit, what do you guys do on a daily basis here? What do you do as a running gear mechanic? We do uh, everything as far as running gear, prop removal, shaft removal, rudder removal, seal replacement. We do alignments, optical alignments, and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's fantastic, about it. man. The last thing we did was return to the boat to do the optical alignment. This is very precise work requiring strong math and geometry skills. As the day came to an end, I had learned a lot about the vast array of services provided by high seas. With the propulsion system fully repaired and aligned, the boat was back to cruising the open water. Hey, thanks for being here with us today, guys. Join us next time on Salty Jobs. <laughs>